Now I'm going to explain how to adjust the tension on the line. Having the right tension on the slip setting during the tail spool reloading is very important to get the best performance from the probe as it drops through the water and also to make sure you don't have any knots in the line that can occur if the tail spool hasn't been properly wound. You can see here I have the clutch in the slip position so quite a lot of friction there the spool won't rotate freely but there is a way to adjust the amount of friction that the clutch imparts to the spool during the reloading procedure with the clutch in the slip position so that's what we're going to do to adjust the tension on the line during reloading there's a small screw that can be adjusted behind this screw so the first thing to do is take this little screw out make sure you use the right key so remove that and that allows access to the small screw in here that you can adjust with a very small flathead screwdriver this screw in here adjusts the voltage that is applied to the clutch when the winch is in the slip position here so you're increasing or decreasing the voltage that's applied to the clutch as you increase or decrease the voltage the level of um, that the clutch force between the plates is either lessened or increased which either increases or decreases the friction in the winch spool and the tension on the line so as you increase the voltage the clutch plates get closer together and so there's more friction as you reduce the voltage they get further apart and that there's less friction and uh, eventually you decrease the voltage to such an extent that the spool will just rotate freely now I'm going to explain how you actually measure the tension so you can properly adjust the uh, clutch setting so here we've got a simple fish scale you can use a digital one uh, or an old style um, scale like this and it's really simple this uh, is going to measure the pull on the line in pounds and we can use that to adjust the clutch so the first thing we'll do is we'll just uh, attach the line onto the top of the scale here and then we'll uh, simply hook the scale on the uh, block here and then take up the slack Okay. so always make sure the clutch is in the slip position if you try and do this with the clutch in the full position there's going to be quite an interesting uh, outcome which will not be very good for this and uh, anyone who's standing nearby so make sure slip position only so then what you can do is uh, put the, the winch mode in the fast setting what that will do when it settles down a bit is it will pull on the scale here with a cons consistent tension and uh, that's currently reading about three pounds so there's only three pounds of, uh, of force as the winch is pulling and that's a measure of the, the amount of uh, friction being put onto the winch spool by the clutch. Three pounds is a little bit low. Ideally, we want this to read 4.5 pounds. So we can adjust the little screw to increase the tension, which will increase this uh, number here on the scale. That's what I'm going to do now. Turning the screwdriver anti-clockwise will increase the tension. So it's moving down now, we're at four and a half, five pounds, going a bit further to six pounds. You can actually maybe be able to see that the, the scale is starting to vibrate a little bit. 
and you can hear a slight change in tone and the uh, clutch, the, sorry, the, uh, the spool is starting to move backwards and forwards a little bit and that is because the clutch inside the winch is, is biting the, the plates are closer together, they're starting biting and if I continue to apply more voltage by turning the screw further then it's going to get the, they're going to get closer and closer together and uh, essentially at some point they'll become fully locked and, uh, and the, the, the line will be pulled this way with, uh, with a significant force so right now I'm at six and a half pounds which is too much so I'm going to take it back down to four and a half going clockwise to take the tension down you may be able to hear a change in tone of the winch so right now I'm at one and a half pounds so you can see here there's no tension on it at all so doing a rewind with the clutch set with only one and a half pounds really isn't that different from doing a rewind with the clutch in the off position so this position here with the very low tension is going to give you a very poor wind and it will be a soft wind which will be not good for the pro characteristics as it's dropping through the water this uh, can cause knots big knots in the line as it's coming back down because it's coming back to the ship also very erratic drop rates so we definitely don't want to be using a 1.5 pound tension so we're going to take, take it back up again increasing it the tone of the winch changes so here we have four and a half pounds And that winch is now nicely adjusted for rewinding.